receivers for B.J. Daniels that are very fast and he'll go to all of them. So Daniels from the shotgun. Demetrius Murray, they kind of bump into each other in the backfield. And you'll see the ball. Well, they still gained four out of a somewhat bumbled play. And Daniels this time keeps it. And it looks like he got the first too, down. Too easy right there. From too easy. the 38. Bulls already up 7-0. Daniels out of the shotgun, runs it right up the middle. Gets close to more first down yardage. This is... Yeah, and he didn't have to wear the helmet then. You know, that particular play, he didn't wear it now. Just short of the first down was the headless Daniels. The fake, and to the near side. And he's got Sterling Griffin, another one of those wide receivers. It's back after an ankle injury. Had him redshirting last year. So first and ten, Daniels with a play-action fake. Looking downfield and deep. And overthrows Sterling Griffin. Anchors the Irish linebackers and Harrison Smith, who had all seven of his career interceptions last year as the leader of the secondary. Now, it's a defense tackle. This is a 20 formation. It's heavy run and option. Watch out for option. Huge Notre Dame freshman getting their first action. And this is Daryl Scott, who has stormed at the oh, USF. Mitchell from Hillsborough High School in Tampa. Another one of those players, more and more of them staying home in Tampa and going to South Florida. And on the ground here is Lindsey Lamar. We said he was going to be active in the off. Ball just outside the 10. And the ball is loose. Daniels has it, but Not that was incredible. Another right. ball just outside the Notre Dame 5. And Daniels pitches it to Daryl Scott, and Scott pounds his way. Close, had some injuries there at Colorado, didn't work out, got frustrated. And now on second and goal, here he is again. Go on, go quick here, Off folks. Up the line of scrimmage <laughs> on third and goal. They caught him. Notre Dame scrambling to get in position. Daniels wants to sneak it across, but he didn't get in that time. 105 wins, three national titles. That's the look of a football coach from the 20s. You're not kidding, pal. So South Florida going to work and right to work. Sterling South Florida, a lot of credit. They're playing well also. Gain of four, second and six. And Daniels gives it to Scott again. Except the Bulls first down, approaching the 11-minute mark. Empty set, quarterback draw. Great block. Daniels gets a good block on the corner. Oh, oh. Takes it up for a... So just about three left for a first down. And Daniels with a quick hit. He had two receivers out there. <laughs> Sterling Griffin on third and three. Notre Dame fans waking up just a little bit. Hoping for a stop. And a good second effort by Scott. Tight end. And a pitch to Scott. And he's got the first down. Leading 13 to nothing. And Daniels with a fake. Keeps it himself. Another first down. He's going to play on the back side for Notre Dame. Daniels to the air. Evan Landy complete per game and in the last four games where they tightened up and went unbeaten down the stretch. Second down and five. Demetrius Murray gives Scott a break. And this time Notre Dame's defense is all over. The ball back to the 34. And out of the shotgun. Daniels trying to get out of trouble. Dropped down the line of scrimmage. Of course, college football analyst never picks against Notre Dame, but he had to go with his son's team, South Florida, right now, and he's looking like a, a winner in that department as Daniels rolling out. And on the near sideline, B.J. Dan. And the exchange is bobbled again as Daniels was also three. Third down and 13. Ball back at the 20. Daniels sets, fires, complete at the 30 to a Sterling Griffin who is stretching. Justin Brockhouse Kahn, number 18, and back deep for Notre Dame. Theo Riddick again. And 
Good punt by Brockhaus Khan, his father. Aaron for the 49ers, and that one is bobbled. The yes. Mr. Mark had the big hit on that crack back block. Now, come on, Riddick has been around. You can't make that mistake. He hands it to Victor Mark effectively. Victor could have kept the speed. He walks into the end zone. But once again, another huge Notre Dame mistake. He's back there because A, he's sure-handed supposedly, and B, he's got explosive make you miss ability, and he should be upset. This Notre Dame team needs to step up. 10 South Florida in business at the Irish 20. 5.03 left in the opening half. Daniels with a play action, fires the ball, is bottled and incomplete. And it's three in the turnover department. Second down and ten. Daniels fakes it to the left, rolls right, and dumps it to Demetrius Murray. Please understand situational football. Third and nine. And this is in and out of the arms of Joel Miller. I don't know, Davis Estenor might have... First down and 10 now for South Florida. Today's first down line brought to you by Xerox as the Bulls at the 41. The 42 call it. B.J. Daniels with a keep. And he gains this time. I agree. And by the way, I just saw lightning outside the stadium. And it is raining now on second and five for Daniels who gives it to Daryl Scott. Scott close to midfield, short of the first down. Lightning in the distance. They made an announcement earlier in the game to the fans the possibility of weather coming in. On third and two, Daniels thought about running and instead throws it away. I look like draw screen or something underneath to kickstart this thing. Pitch. Daniels out to Griffin. And Griffin stops short, taking their time lining up. Second and four, 19 seconds and rolling. Quick hit by Daniels to Griffin again. And he picks up the first down. And to your point, they'd much rather be playing for the Big East Championship on December 1st against West Virginia, regardless of this outcome. And Daniels steps up. And just falls on it, running out of bounds. All of a sudden, you're in field goal range. And they're just going to fall on it here. And that will bring off in their 20 formation right here. They run a lot of option out of this. The fake give, and they swing it up top to Lamar. On second and ten, they give it to Scott. Had a number of a big play, and for South Florida, you got to calm this thing down. Daniels to the air, and incomplete. And that's one of the reasons why, because Jones didn't even see it coming. So South Florida takes over deep in its own territory as Daniels hands off to Scott. Receiver, it doesn't mean you're not looking for the football as a receiver. I don't understand that at all. So second down and six. Daniels rolls out to the right. He's got Griffin. And Griffin picks this one. Third trip to the red zone, deep in the Bulls' territory, coming up with nothing. First down and 10 now for Daniels. And Daryl Scott slips on the turf. Just a Second down and seven, Bulls from their own 21. The fake to Scott. Daniels deep down the field. It's going to be incomplete. He had A.J. Love down there. Obviously, the fumble went back to seven points. But worst case scenario, you're kicking field goals on the two interceptions. Daniels on third and seven. Oh, good timing. Complete, and that is dropped. South Florida starts this drive at their own 19. 16-7. Bulls lead it. And there is Lamar. Saw a lot of this when we looked at the film. Just about every wide receiving record in Notre Dame history. He came into the game third in career yards, needing 54 to tie Jeff Samarja as Daniels swings it out again to Lamar. And he has wrestled down to the ground. Brings up third and six. Notre Dame crowd waking up a little bit. Daniels fires for a first down. He's got Sterling Griffin. 
six. And Sterling Griffin with another catch. Daniels has him up to the line quickly, fakes the play action. He's got A.J. Love, and A.J. Love looking for the first down mark of three on this drive. He so far has avoided the big mistake, the big turnover on second and seven. Bang. Hit fire right there to sniff it out is Blanton. That's a loss of three, so it's third down and ten. Daniels incomplete, intended for Victor a career here until he just missed a 30-yarder. Sets up B.J. Daniels and the Bulls at the 20. Daniels is just knocked down for a huge loss. Ethan. Second down and 16. And the South Florida is backed up inside its own 15. Daniels with pressure again, this time gets it away, and A.J. Love's got a first down. In game so far. First down and 10 for Daniels. And the give is to Daryl Scott. There after the first half. Second down and nine for South Florida as we begin the fourth quarter. Notre Dame trailing by nine. Daniels close to the first, and they're at the Notre Dame 42. Daniels slings it out over the head of A.J. Love. Made the trip, driving in a car all the way from Tallahassee. They picked up the grandparents in Daytona, and they picked up his uncle in North Carolina as this pass is batted down at the line of scrimmage. The sprint out of this formation to the field with all these receivers front side. Daniels fires, and it's complete. And getting the first down, Andreas She. So from the Notre Dame 30, already up 16-7. They keep it on the ground to Murray, and Murray with a good game. Now from the turn the football upfield. And again it's Murray. Murray for first down yardage. Here and again we mentioned this is the first year that he's had the same offense, the same offensive coordinator, after two different coordinators in his first two years as the quarterback. Murray again with a good game. Block and get points out of it and put the pressure on Notre Dame. Murray again with room. First and goal. That's it. They keep it on the ground on first and goal. And this time Notre Dame is there to force him back. Daniels in control. Second and goal from the Notre Dame three. The fake. Daniels is going to run it himself. Down to the on the part of the Bulls. So third and goal. Daniels floats it up to the end zone. That was Griffin trying to get it incomplete. The thing you've got to do is turn around and locate the football, which he never did. So the ball is down first and goal now at about the two-yard line. Daniels is going to run it instead. He flips it into the end zone for the touchdown. Evan Landy. Caleb Reese has good coverage, but he can't find the football. It's just that little route right there. Good coverage, has no idea where the football is, and Landy makes the adjustment. Caleb Reese before the end of the first half. They're going to look to run the football. I'm not sure how, how athletic he can be on the edge right now. Yeah, Alex telling us he's been on the bike, repeatedly trying to loosen up. Demetrius Murray gets the call. Notre Dame there to stop him for a long. Notre Dame's work is right now as they are down to South Florida. The Bulls at the 30 on second and 12. And Daniels tosses it to Murray. And he gets across the 35-yard line. So that moves the ball into Notre Dame territory at the 48. And South Florida with a first and 10. And they keep it on the ground to Murray. Makes his way inside the 45. The answer. That's what I remember that when I was a kid. My dad talking about opening game. Penalties, turnovers, tackling and special teams. Drop balls. Murray, as the Bulls keep it on the ground on second. Play clock down the four. Daniels is going to eat some time. And carried it along the left side short of the first down. Really clean game. He turns it over there, and the Bulls set up on the Irish 30. With just more than four minutes left in the game with a 10-point lead. Daniels gives it to Murray, and they're going to eat up a lot of clock here. To win the championship.
I give these kids a ton of credit coming out and playing here at Notre Dame the way they have. And they keep it on the ground to Murray again. And that's going to be a loss. Holding it off. I have to erect a statue in Tampa for him. And a lightning strike off in the distance as Murray gets it. And for both teams, Mike, I mean, it's a textbook onside kick by Ruffer, but the Bulls have it, and they're going to run out the clock. Wow. Congratulations to the Bulls.